Hey guys, this is John. Final update from the Reykjavik Open. I got done with round nine about two hours ago. I had the black pieces against a FIDE master from Germany, Gerald Lowe, FIDE rating 2204. So looking to end on a high note, and again, practice those same good habits I was talking about in the video from yesterday. Well, it's actually posted today. Time management, so making quick natural moves, only spending a significant amount of time if necessary, if further calculations warranted. Uh, and yeah, just really trusting my instincts. And I think I was able to do that again in this game, much like yesterday. So again, my, my 20 move benchmark, how much time do I have after 20 moves, halfway till the 40 moves. Uh, today, I think I had about 42, 43 minutes, something like that. And I mentioned that 45 is what you wanna aim for, of course, like half of 90 minutes. Even a little more is better. So 42, 43 minutes was pretty good. And I had a nice position as well. The opening was a push. And as has happened in this tournament, I decided to surprise my opponent and play a line that I hadn't played before, but I have looked at before. And I think this is a pretty effective strategy with this 90 minute first time control. And I got a nice position. Um, I had a lot of pressure strategically. I had this knight that was kind of hopping behind enemy lines, causing him problems. I don't think my technique was perfect leading up to time control, but he did blunder a tactic under under pressure, admittedly, where I was able to play the winning move right at move 40, which is always a satisfying feeling. Like, you hit move 40, you play the winning move. He played on for a few moves after that, but he was just losing a, a piece, and the game was an easy win for me. So I finished with two victories in rounds 8 and 9. Repairs a little bit of the damage done in round 7, uh, I'm still, I still lost rating points overall for this tournament. I think I lost maybe six, six and a half points. Not terrible, could always be worse. But um, yeah, I'm just happy to get those two victories in the final two games. Uh, now I've got a few days in Reykjavik. I'm just gonna do some sightseeing. Uh, that'll be really nice just to relax after this tournament. Might even rent a car and just drive around the country. I'm pretty open-ended. I am doing one tour of the South Coast on Friday. I'm about to go to the closing ceremony right now. Congrats to uh, Baskiran Adiban from India. He played a very controlled tournament and he won the event with seven and a half out of nine. I think he had a couple early draws and then he just ran away with it for the rest of it. So extremely impressive. Also congratulations to some of the GM norm earners. Uh, Nihal Saran earned a GM norm. Um, also Abu Dasarov I think I'm mispronouncing that name. He's, I believe, from Uzbekistan. I heard that he made a norm and therefore became the second youngest grandmaster of all time. And I'm sorry to him, I don't know the details of that. It seems to me he's been one of these prodigies that's been uh, flying a little under the radar compared to guys like Pragnananda and Nihal Saran. But congratulations to him. Daimante Cornet, she made a draw in the final round and secured a GM norm. I was playing next to her for several games. So, yeah, congrats are in order to her as well. And I think Johan Sebastian Christensen from Norway also made a norm by virtue of winning his last round game against Ahmed Adli. He caught Adli in a opening trap, or Adli just blundered right out of the opening and he won a piece. So, yeah, some, some GM norms were earned at this event. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna be traveling around Iceland a little bit, sightseeing these next few days. My next tournament is in a little under two weeks in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's the exact same format as the Charlotte tournament I played in January. Uh, by the way, if you hear these, this honking, <laughs> I should just turn around and show you these uh, aggressive swans and ducks. I think they're expecting me to feed them. There's even more a little further down here. <laughs> so sorry guys, I have no food. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the Charlotte tournament and I think after that I'm gonna take a little bit of a break because by that point I'll have been playing essentially nonstop for two months. So, gotta get back to normal life a bit, do some teaching, do some chessable work, make some YouTube videos for you guys that are not just me talking to the camera. <laughs> uh, and I think the rest and reflection on my game will be good too, and I'll plan my schedule for the spring and the summer. Wow, they're really creating a racket, aren't they? All right guys, I'm gonna go enjoy the closing ceremony. Hope everyone's well. Thanks for following me in this tournament. And I'll speak to you guys again soon. Bye.